Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about RSA Digital Signature Scheme. This is our first digital signature technique which we are going to discuss. In our last classes, we have given some basic understanding on digital signature. Please watch those classes and come back here. And our assumption is you already have the concept of RSA cryptography technique which we already discussed previously. Based on the assumption that you already have that knowledge, we, our explanation is completely based on that assumption. So what we have done in our previous classes when in the RSA cryptography technique, first we have to generate the key. How the key is generated? Choose P and Q or two prime numbers. From that you have to generate n, n is equal to p multiplied by q. From this you can get the phi of n, p minus 1 comma q minus 1. Choose e, randomly generate a e number that is between 1 and phi of n. And from that you have to generate the d. Now d is used as private key, n comma e are used as public keys. This is how we are going to generate keys using RSA. The same way we are going to generate the keys in, here in digital signature also. So after generating the keys, D is the private key. Those who want to send the message, they will use this private key. Those who want to verify the signature, they are going to use this public key. Now let's try to understand what happens, how the signing and verifying is done. Suppose if you are having a message M, you want to send this message by means you have to sign this message take the message m using the private key m power d mod n this is what we call it as signatories means those who want to send the message they will send the message and the signature they will generate the signature yes is the signature how they are going to generate by using this private key so the message and signature both are sent to the receiver message and signature both are sent to the receiver how the receiver is going to verify that he is having both message and signature by using the signature and by using the public keys he has to generate m dash so that's why m dash equal to how he has to generate given the signature signature power e which is we call it as public key mod n yes means signature inside yes what happens inside yes m power d that's why m power d e mod n so m power d e mod n is same as m mod n why it is same as m mod n d and e are inverse of each other so d multiplied by e can be e is equal as 1 mod phi of n So m power d e mod n can be written as m mod n if d e satisfies 1 mod phi of n. This is what we have discussed in Euler's theorem. In our previous classes we have given the idea of this Euler's theorem and in our discrete mathematics we have provided the mathematical proof for first version. Second version we have not provided but we have discussed the statement in our previous classes. So from this we can write it as m power d e mod n can be written as m mod n. So m dash congruent to m mod n. If this happens, the verifier is going to accept it. Otherwise, he is not going to accept it. Let's try to understand with an example p is taken as 823 q 953 generate n 784319 and from this phi of n is equal to 7825444 generate a random number e is equal to 313 d is equal to from this you can generate d is equal to 160009 so now if you take the message message is equal to 19070 from for this message we have to generate the signature S equal to 19070 power of 160009 mod 
0.4319 mod n. This is the output as 210625 mod 784319, which is same as 210625. So the signature S is 210625. The message and signature both sent to the verifier. The verifier is going to generate m dash. m dash is equal to signature power e. 210625 power e is 313 mod 784319. So from this 10, this is same as 109070 mod 784319. So, M congruent to M dash mod N. This is what he got. Means he got both same 19070 which is M. M congruent to M dash mod N. So, that uh, he will say that uh, both are same. The message signature, signature, he is going to accept the signature that the, this got from the valid authenticated sender. This is how RSA digital signature scheme works. Hope you understand how RSA digital signature scheme. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.